Pulse oximetry is based on a predictable relationship between a patient's arterial blood oxygen saturation and cardiac-induced changes in the ratio of transmitted red and infrared light signals. The methods for determining Nelcor pulse oximetry SpO2 values are founded on the fact that the patient's true arterial oxygen saturation is associated with the patient's cardiac-induced pulse. Nelcor pulse oximetry technology focuses on the persistent and generally repetitive nature of these signals, since most patients exhibit a repetitive cardiac cycle. Nelcor pulse oximetry technology identifies and qualifies a pulse on a beat-by-beat -beat basis. The pulse oximeter looks for consistency in the shape of the pulses, including signal pulse amplitude, or height of the pulse, and the frequency of the pulses. The posted SpO2 values are derived using a process called cardiac gated averaging. With cardiac gated averaging, each waveform is analyzed by segments that correspond to the current pulse rate. Those parts of the waveform that are consistent with the average pulse shape pass through the averaging process as normal. Signal segments that are inconsistent are given lower priority in the averaging. This can reduce the influence of random interference, such as motion. This is important because each time a qualified pulse is detected, even during motion, the data display is updated. More importantly, when a pulse is lost in a motionless patient, the Nelcor pulse oximetry monitor is designed to alarm within seconds because loss of a pulse in a motionless patient probably represents a true emergency. You need accuracy the most when risk is highest. That's why Nelcor pulse oximetry monitoring systems are engineered with cardiac-gated averaging, offering reliable, accurate SpO2 measurements.